Hey y'all, you know, it just wouldn't be the 4th of July without a hot dog, would it? Everybody has their own way that they like their hot dog and Lord have mercy, there's so many ways to do it. I remember when I was in high school, we had three hangouts. We had the Arctic Bear, Gary Super Sub, but the most popular was a brazier, which is known as a Dairy Queen now. They made the best slaw dogs. Us uh, high schoolers, we didn't eat much, but if we ate, there's a good chance it was gonna be uh, a brazier slaw dog. So that's what I'm gonna make for me and Eddie today uh, in celebration of the 4th of July. Now, a lot of people like their hot dogs on the grill. They like the char marks, they like the charcoal taste, and of course I do too. But I'm not gonna start a fire for four hot dogs. <laughs> so I'm gonna do them just like my mother and my grandmother did them. I'm going to boil them in uh, boiling water until they're hot through and through. And the coleslaw I'm going to make is not tricky at all. It's just I'm going to make a standard, kind of my standard coleslaw. And <laughs> there's a convenience food out there, y'all. Uh, slaw that has already been shredded and it's very very convenient you can get it um, angel hairstyle or you can get it a coarse kind of uh, grape that we do by hand but I'll tell you this Fresh made coleslaw is so much better than the packaged. I know it's so easy and so convenient. And this is not necessarily so easy. It does take a little elbow grease. Okay, y'all, uh, just give it a little texture. I like to take my cabbage and then kind of shred it thin just to, just to give it some texture and interest along with the grated. You see what I mean? I kind of like the way that looks. So we're just gonna slice the rest that we didn't grate. We're gonna slice it up and throw it in with our grated. All right, now to our cabbage. And this is, you know, strictly up to you if you like onion in your coleslaw, uh, put it in there. If you don't like onion in it, then chop your hot, uh, chop your onion and put it in a dish and let folks uh, put onion on the hot, on their own hot dog. But I think everybody here likes onion, so I'm gonna just chop a little onion. To me, you just can't get too much onion on a hot dog. So, let's talk, Eddie, a little bit about the hot dog. I don't know how much uh, you know about the hot dog, but uh, it's been around a long, long, long time. In fact, uh, I read something that it was, went far as back as BC, so they've been around a long time, but they started out as a sausage dog. All right, so I'm gonna share with y'all how the term hot dog got its name. And supposedly, uh, some say the word was coined in 1991 at the New York uh, 
polo grounds on a cold April day and vendors were, were hawking their hot sausages and they had them on a cart in, in uh, hot water and they would go through the crowds and they would shout, they're red hot, get your dachshund sausages while they're red hot. <laughs> and a New York journalist, sports uh, cartoonist, T Tad Dorgan, observed the scene and he hastily drew a cartoon of a bunch of barking dachshund sausages nestled warmly in rolls. And he didn't know how to spell the word dachshund, so he simply wrote hot dog. And the cartoon is said to have been a sensation, thus coining the term hot dog. <laughs> However, historians have not been able to find this cartoon. Uh, and despite Dorgan's enormous body of work and his popularity, it has not been found yet. So that's it about the hot dog, y'all. And uh, I don't care what they call it, just make sure they call it when I come to the table. So now I'm gonna make our sauce to go on it. And uh, I like, I like kind of a sweet coleslaw. And that may look like a lot of cabbage, but you don't want to drown it, you know, in, in mayonnaise. So a little bit is gonna go a long way. Now I've got my mayonnaise and I'm using just a white distilled vinegar. Maybe a tablespoon, right, Eddie? Yeah. Didn't that look like about a tablespoon? And to get it a little sweet. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar. And I'll just taste this along uh, until I get it just like I like it. So I'm gonna put in some, our silly salt. And you don't wanna put much because uh, the salt will be pulling the water out of the cabbage and making it watery. All right. So it's gonna take just a minute for the uh, mayonnaise and the vinegar to kind of melt the sugar, for lack of a better word. Mm. Right, let's see. <laughs> Stick your finger in there, Eddie, or here you can do it on this, whatever. Do you think it's sweet enough? Yes, it definitely has a sweet taste. Okay, I'm gonna add some celery seed just to kick this up a little bit. And I'm gonna add some black pepper. This is kind of a slow way to get pepper, isn't it? <laughs> okay. sure it's vinegary enough. Okay. I was out of carrots, so I had to go next door and bar borrow some shredded cab carrots from Bobby and Cloud. So I do, I'm not a big carrot lover, but I do like them in my coleslaw for a little bit of color. Okay, let me check on our hot dogs. Our hot dogs are boiling. I'm starting to swallow hard, Eddie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Okay, so my grandmother Paul 
served her buns, her hamburger and hot dog buns, a little different from what my mother did. Grandmother would get a, a nice uh, pot, you know, that had a wide circumference. She would put her colander on top of that. You don't want the colander touching the water. And then she would put a dish rag and she would separate her hot dog buns and her hamburger buns and steam it over that hot boiling water. So if you like a real soft, warm bun, that's the way to do it. But I'm gonna share with y'all how my mother did it. And we loved them that way. All right, I'm gonna cut our hot dogs down a little bit. And I'm gonna take my soft butter and I'm gonna butter the sides of my hot dog bun. Now this is one of those hot dogs that's cut down the center. And I actually, I kinda like them because it keeps everything in your, your dog, in your bun a little bit better than I think one slice to the side, I don't know. That's just up to you, personal preference. I don't care as long as I have a bun. All right, so we're gonna toast this in our skillet. Look what, look at, look at that, Max, what he's done here. Max, yeah. Max. Oh, he's so bad. Mm. Mm. All right, let's see. I may. I may grate a little onion for, for our sauce. Oops, excuse me. Hope it didn't scare you. <laughs> okay, so in that goes. I have all different kind of cabbage. I mean, coleslaw recipes, y'all. But for my hot dog, I like just a plain, plain old coleslaw. And it looks like I didn't mix up enough. But this does get wetter as it sits. So I'm just gonna take another little scoop of mayonnaise, and that's all you have to do if you're a little short. Nothing tricky, no, nothing fancy about this coleslaw. Okay, so our coleslaw is ready. That was simple. Once you get it grated, it's not hard at all. So, I've just turned our buns on. So, I'm going to toast those ni nicely on both sides. Now, uh, Aunt Peggy can't eat a hot dog without sauerkraut. Personally, me, I don't care for it. Uh, you can put mustard, ketchup. You know, I'm a mayonnaise freak. So, I eat mayonnaise on my hot dogs. No matter what kind of hot dog I'm eating, whether it's a chili, a cheese, a slaw, or just a plain hot dog. Um, you can put a sweet relish on it. You can put a dill pickle relish on you. In fact, I would love to hear from y'all and hear what all you put on your hot dogs. Oh, I do love a chili cheese. But for the 4th of July, we gonna do a hail to the Brazier in Albany, Georgia. A shout out. All of you kids that were at Albany High from the year 63 to 65, you know exactly what I'm talking about. At the break, you know, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have access to, to music like all the 
folks nowadays do. So um, somebody would take their record player. And when I say record player, I mean a real record player with the vinyl uh, records. And we would find some electricity up there behind the, in the parking lot of the brazier. And uh, one of the songs that I remember just blasting through the air was Hot Nuts, Get Them From Your Peanut Man. I remember those boys playing that record. Uh, but those were some good old fun, fun days. You ready to eat, Eddie? Yeah. All right. For a sausage dog, I put mayonnaise, mustard, and coleslaw. I don't put anything else on it because I just like I just like the true uh, coleslaw taste that comes with the hot dog. All right. So. I'm gonna get us out some chips, Daddy. Oh, these are crumbs. I'll have to use those on top of a casserole or something. And I think hot dogs scream for uh, potato chips, don't you? Yes. All right, what do you want on your hot dog, Daddy? Uh, just, just coleslaw. Just coleslaw, no mayonnaise, no mustard, no ketchup, no nothing. Yep. Okie doke, you wanna come over here and uh, let everybody see how Mama Kari got these buns ready for a hot dog. Okay, so we're almost there. I see some hot dogs waiting on a hot dog, Eddie. <laughs> so, the, uh, the brazier was certainly the place to get a great slaw dog. But we had a, a little hot dog restaurant in Albany that was, gosh, it was started before I was born, Eddie. And you know what I'm talking about, Jimmy's Hot Dogs. Uh, when my brother Bubba would go home, he'd come back with a sack of Jimmy's Hot Dogs for me to put in the freezer. And Bubba and I have eaten a mini leftover uh, Jimmy's hot dog that we pulled out of the freezer. So this is it. Our beautiful bun is nice and toasty warm. Okay, Eddie. Am I keeping you up, Eddie? <laughs> he was just yawning, y'all. Is this hot dog going to put you to sleep? It's a rainy afternoon. Oh, it is a beautiful rainy afternoon. Perfect. All right, so I'm just going to put your coleslaw on there. So there you go. There's your slaw dog. Can I put more pepper on it? Nope, that's good. Okay, so true to my word, this, this, um, Mayonnaise jar is just about empty, but I'm going to smear what's left on it. And then I'm going to come over here and put me some mustard, because I like the mustard with the coleslaw. Remember, after you get your coleslaw made, just taste it. And if it needs something else, you can correct your seasonings at that time. By the way, y'all, Jimmy's Hot Dogs is still open and thriving in Albany, Georgia. So this is a salute to the American hot dog that the German immigrants brought over to us. And aren't we glad they did? Get your hot dachshund dog right now. <laughs> Hot dog's much better, isn't it? <laughs> Have a happy, happy 4th of July and be safe. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video.
Love and best dishes, y'all.